By the way, uh, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Weird. Kind of weird. Uh... Ow! That hurt. Ah! Ow. <laughs> Is there anything left? No. <sighs> Boy, that was violent and stupid. I wholeheartedly endorse that course of action. He's dead. Whoa. He's messy. Okay. Well, that's one less doggy to worry about. Tool shit, eh? Sparks. Okay. Sparks are okay. Tool shit. Metal eating monster. on it's pretty creepy it's like being in an abandoned parking garage or something like p2 except scary Tool shit. Oh. Oh. Saw? I would like to play a game Xeno report filed by chief attending Xeno officer Phase 9 out of 9. Leader, unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be of manufactured rather than natural origin, and so warrants additional interest in, need I say, security. The bulk of Substance 63 was discovered on only six yards from where Artifact 66B was buried, and appears at least in part to consist of a solidified form of 63. With a number of operable appendages, the artifact emits a low level of light from a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as we suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this are clear, and appropriate measures are already being taken. Progress in becoming enlightened as to the purpose of the device, if indeed it served a purpose in the traditional sense at all, has been slow. Following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on phase 7 only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route avoiding the cave ends. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it for me to suggest the decisions of the elevated case, but I am struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific tests in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team, put together and sent here by my immediate supervisor. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed at the main site. Nevertheless, it's comforting to know that the actions of every member of the organization are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outranking myself, both in stature and wisdom. And with this in mind, I feel fully justified in filing an official request for further manpower. We have already lost a number of workers to unforeseen events, largely while engaging in the studies mentioned earlier and further investigation of the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks all too together hazardous in nature to risk the well-being of more elevated organization members. In particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site recovers and requires immediate cartography. Sounded like he was talking about the little orange thingies. When we came in here for a saw and a note. Still sharp enough to cut through wood. Okay. Have to find something to use it on. and storage. Uh, I bet the large rock-eating monster we need is excavation. Here, a dog. Ah, uh, crap. There he is. I'll screw him. 
he can be over there. We'll check out storage. Ah, damn it. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Okay. Something about rolling a puppy? In poop? Um, God. I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you see. Okay, second right. Not this one. That might have worked. Yeah, we got past it. Good. Ah, oh, the feeling that was exceedingly close. Sorry if I'm a little quiet on these guys, but the atmosphere's kind of getting to me. The crawlies. And the whispers. Piercing white light. Not enough to illuminate the whole room. Vision go blurry. Some of a ladder. This box should be as ancient as the rest of the mine, but it looks in better nick. The side facing the excavation seems more corroded. Ah. That must be the tunnel leading to the storeroom. It's pretty high, though. The draft coming from the dank hall. All the same, it's hardly inviting. In fact, the complete opposite. The test substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Bromine test, acid, test. Standard hallucinogenics, mild intoxicant tests abandoned due to most tech su test subjects suffering massive internal hemorrhaging. Lord. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considered more successful. It appears to be a harmless blend of sulfur, chlorine, and aromatic ar amine, which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. It is harmless insofar as we have identified it, and so can take the necessary safety measures. If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. Ugh. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from its dormant location causes its base stage radically changed, producing massive heat to the detriment of three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run. The prevailing theory is that somehow the disruption of the material causes it to enter hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate a half-life of 0.4 seconds. Hmm. The man still clutching, still looking for what? Before him lies metal jutting awkward from the earth. A hatch, a portal, a hole, a door. Unfamiliar text. Who are these figures huddled around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces of men? Feels like I'm leaving my body for a moment, but not just hovering around. I go somewhere. The hell are these things? You! Answer me. Where were you on the night of... I don't know what day it is. Don't you look at me like that. I'll throw stuff at you. Could have been damaged when I turned the power on. sort of excavation, although not like any mining operation I've ever seen. I don't know where that mist is coming from. I don't fancy getting any closer to find out. Can I put that 
together somehow? Seems odd that I would be able to move these. up to get up here. Huh. Yeah, we're definitely not picking that up. Unless... Probably not what they intend me to do, but I have to give it a shot. I mean, it's got to be sloped for a reason. doing that. We might be in completely blind territory for me. Oh, shit. Whoever made this tunnel at its homes clearly made it unstable as well. Well, spiders, stupid. Ugh. Oh, shit. Uh, damn. Ridiculous. Where's my lighter at? My lighter's gone? Maybe they won't like the flare. I don't seem to care that I have a flashlight. I guess we just need to avoid them. Earthquake. Okay. Hope those came from an animal. Suspicion I need to get. Oh, damn. 